Hey folks, welcome to Master That Gear video. Uh, in this video I'm going to be looking at some new guitar strings that I've uh, been really lucky to try out. Um, all devised by a friend of mine called uh, Jonathan Kemp, or Dr. Jonathan Kemp I guess, from St Andrews University. And he recently published a paper on the physics of um, the guitar string and how it reacts with tremolo arms. And pretty much what he's done is he's come up with some um, new string designs that will keep the guitar in tune when you're bending particular chords or strings in tune with one another. Now traditionally on normal strings, if you do that, you know, it doesn't matter if you've got a trem or a, a Floyd Rose or whatever, if you do some chord bending with standard strings, they'll sound out of tune. These new strings that Jonathan's come up with, if you then basically change uh, the chords and windings on the E, A, D and G strings, you can do the same sort of uh, bending with the tremolo arm, but the chords will stay in tune this time. So this is really, really cool. Um, I've had them on the guitar now for uh, about two weeks or so, maybe three weeks. And the installation was really simple. It's pretty much normal strings. Uh, I just had to change the intonation a little bit because um, if I recall, the, these new wound strings are sharing the same core, pretty much the same core as the G string. I just had to adjust the intonation a little bit on the saddles and that was it. Um, Tension wise, there may have been a little bit of adjustment with the claw just to get the balance of the trim again, but it wasn't a huge adjustment. And that compared to things like uh, the trans trim or things you used to get back in, you know, on Steinberger guitars and things, which required obviously a dedicated piece of hardware, is really, really cool. It means you can retrofit any guitar, any Strat or any Floyd equipped guitar, uh, or any trim arm guitar at all, basically. So, very simple to install. Um, Feel-wise, um, Jonathan said it should be easier to do like string bends on the, the D string. Now, now personally, I probably do most of my string bending on uh, the plain strings, the G, B and E. So I've not really noticed a huge difference. Um, I'm not, on a Floyd guitar, I'm expecting to have a little more give anyway because it's a floating trim system compared to maybe with higher gauge in the Strat or something that's like a hardtail. Where you're not you're getting the full string tension, so I've not really noticed a huge difference personally. But um, basically, what you bend, feel on bending on a G string, you should now feel on that D string. Yeah. So setup wise, it's really straightforward. It's just like putting on a new set of strings. Um, the winding on the D string is a little bit finer than it usually is. So it'll be interesting to see over time how that lasts. But at the moment, as I said, I've been playing it pretty much constantly for. Uh, couple of weeks or a few weeks and it's still perfectly fine. They stay in tune really, really well, which is obviously important if you're going to be using the whammy arm quite a bit. So now it's just the E, A, D and G strings that have been changed. The B and E strings are as before. So they're not going to bend in tune. Um, you know, if you play a full six string chord, but it does mean you've got all your harmonic information there for like major and minor chords and various other chords. And it does mean, even if you're doing like a gentle uh, vibrato on a chord, it's going to stay really in tune. It is literally as if you're just taking a chord and pitch shifting the whole thing up and down. So, let me just play a, a clean chord here and I'll do a dive bomb on it and you can hear. How all those strings, you know, they bend at the same rate basically. So you get this nice sounding chord just going down in pitch. Go the other way. You can hear. It. Now that's really really cool. I mean, for a start, you can do things like that. You can just take a chord. You know, just kind of bend it. Um, you can also do the kind of um, slide effects. You know, kind of slide into the chord. which is really cool if you want a kind of country style, bluesy kind of thing going on, pedal steel type stuff. 
The other cool thing about it, of course, is um, you can take any kind of dyads, any power chords. So if I get like a bit of a, bit of a rock tone here. And you got all that sort of stuff. I mean, this just sounds really cool to me. All the way down. But you can use that and you could change, it gives an, an extra dimension to riffs, I guess. So normally, you might kind of swoop into it. That type of stuff. Um, you could also kind of use it just to take a chord and play like a riff on it. So you get that, those kind of chords, but you get a slightly different attack to it. Yeah. Harmonics are a load of fun on it as well. Um, normally if you're bending like to something like that, on standard string guitars and you bend it with the, the whammy bar, if you dive it or pull it up, the strings are going to bend at different rates of course, so you get that kind of uh, gnarly kind of dissonant sound in it, so it's a bit more screechy. With these strings, because they're going to move at the same rate, it's a bit more, you know, literally like you've just taken a pitch shift of like a whammy pedal or something on them. Yeah, and because um, you've got, you know, this uh, equal bending rate going on, if you've just pulled up a tone, then you know all the other strings have gone up a tone. So you can get some really cool effects like uh, bending up the harmonic. You get kind of more of that country vibe thing going on again. Uh, so it's really cool. I mean, you can do... Play like chords or little kind of roots and thirds with the harmonics. And use the wham the whammy bar. Yeah, and they're all gonna bend at that equal rate, so you get this really nice even kind of glissando type sound. As I said, I've only had the strings for a few weeks. One of the cool things uh, I was quite enjoying doing was taking like uh, playing diatonic chords, so rather than just taking a chord and bending it, you know, that's not how, uh, you know, harmony of things work. You want to be basically moving between major and minor chords and so forth. So you could take like a minor, yeah, it's got my root minor third and a root here, then hammer on that major third, but bend up to the next major chord, so you have something that sounds like this. Yeah, or try it in tune. And then you could take, bend that down to that F there, or maybe try and get the A minor. So you would take your major shape here, and then take that to a minor third and bend up. Yeah, so there's really, really cool stuff you can do with that, because obviously you can play your major and minor chords there. And one thing you'll notice is it really, really starts working on your whammy bar technique. I mean, I'd, um, I've used the whammy bar. I haven't had a Floyd for um, a number of years until I got the Charvel again. So I've been getting back into using the Floyd. But this, these strings really, really force you just to kind of work in your technique and try and find new creative ideas with it. I think that's one of the things I really, really enjoyed about them is it's forcing me to kind of get out of the comfort zone, which is always good for creativity because you're not just kind of going through the motions. So I think Jonathan's on to a real winner here because just the accessibility of just taking a pack of strings, taking any of your existing guitars and putting these on, giving you that kind of creative uh, opportunity is it's just brilliant. I mean, it, it, most yeah, it's not all six strings, so maybe it's just kind of like, oh, I wish it was all six strings, but you can get a lot of stuff out just the EAD and G strings. And it's really a simple thing to do, just restringing your guitar, set it up a little bit maybe, but it's really easy to do. You don't need any fancy hardware or anything like that. You don't need to have your whammy pedal, and of course they're always going to have slight artifacts in the sound because it's not the natural string 
being bent, you're kind of manipulating the sound. So this gives you that kind of uh, more natural sounding kind of bending with things like that. So I think Jonathan's really, really um, done a great job. And uh, if you're re if you're interested in kind of trying out a set or getting in touch with Jonathan, check out the email address. I'll put it uh, down below here, um, and you can email him and see, um, you know, when he comes up with some more prototypes or if they actually go into production. Who knows? Uh, you'll be first to know, and you can try them out. Uh, so I think um, it'd be interesting to see how people, when they start installing these strings, uh, how they use them and what uh, new music people can come up with. And that's kind of the exciting thing about them. Plus they're great fun, you know. Who doesn't love basically just taking up? <laughs> So thanks for watching, hope you enjoy the video as usual. If you want to uh, check out more stuff, please subscribe to YouTube channel. Uh, check out Massive the Guitar on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, all the usual places. And you'll see various other things getting posted up there. So uh, until next time, as usual, have fun. <laughs>